Hi, welcome back to Spice and Easy. Today we've got another quick and easy recipe for you. Now, before I get on to our recipe, let's just look at a bit of background here. If you ever get a takeaway pizza, you sometimes get buy one, get one free. You do around where we are. You, you pay for one, you get the second one free. Now, if you're looking for a decent sized pizza, um, you're probably looking at a minimum of £10. Um, so it's going to cost you £10 for two pizzas if it's buy one get one free. If it's not buy one get one free, obviously it's £10 for one pizza. But if you start adding other toppings, you can creep up to £12-£15 and that's for two pizzas if you're getting one free. Now on top of that, if you like us, you always think they're still a bit heavy. The bases are sometimes they're okay, other times they're a bit dry, doughy. Um, or the greasy uh, it soaks up some of the stuff they put on I don't know what they put on the base but and it it can lay heavy on your stomach and it's you know sometimes they're not that good what about if you make your own now what we're going to show you tonight is make your own pizza but not using pizza bases which are sometimes dry we're going to be using nan breads now if you buy decent naan breads, not the your supermarket ones, because they're always a bit heavy, um, buy decent quality naan breads. Now the ones we're going to use, the light, the fluffy, they're still a fair size. Um, so it's like getting your large pizzas. But as I say, the bases are nice, the light, the fluffy. Make the base on it, put your toppings on it, bang it in the oven. It will still be just as quick as getting your takeaway, because you're looking sometimes an hour, hour and a half before it gets here. Then sometimes it's not hot. This is coming straight out of the oven. So it's going to be nice and hot. You know what you're putting on there if you want to be healthy. Obviously the cheese is not too, too healthy. But you can get vegan cheese if you want to cut down on some of the fat in that. Um, put that on. Put your own toppings on. You know what's gone on there. You know how it's been made. It's lighter. Doesn't lie heavy on your stomach. And most importantly it will work out cheaper. We probably get three pizzas for what it will cost us for one from our local takeaway. And as I say, we know we've made it. We know what is on there we like. And it's not going to lie heavy on us. Um, it's really easy to do. So check this video out. See what you think. I'm sure once you try this, you won't go to the takeaway pizza place again. It'll be get your nail breads in. Make your own pizzas. You can have fun while you're doing it. If you've got kids, they can join in. And you'll just have a good time making a pizza. And more importantly, you'll love eating them. So keep watching and let's make nan bread pizzas. So, important part then for your pizza nans. Nan breads. We use these ones which are Leicester handmade nans. You get three in a packet. They do also, which are actually better than these for pizza bases, they do a garlic and coriander and they do a spicy one. We actually like the spicy ones better, um, but these are some that I've got left, so that's how nice they are. It was a full pack of three, we had one last night. Um, if you buy these and they are really fresh and soft and light and fluffy, um, leave them a couple of days in the packet unopened and they'll just firm up slightly which makes them better for pizza bases because if they're too soft they'll soak up all the tomatoes and go all yeah, stodgy so they're the nan breads we're actually making two today um, sliced chestnut mushrooms obviously use any mushrooms you like or you can change your toppings up whatever you want on there um, if you want to be really disgusting Use pineapple. Ugh, pineapple on a pizza. It's just so wrong. Um, it should be in a tin and in juice and you have it on your ice cream or whatever and that's it. Uh, sliced onion. One of. Uh, there's about four mushrooms there and the, uh, the chestnut ones. One green pepper sliced. Two tomatoes thinly sliced. Now your base. Um... What I used was a full can of chopped tomatoes. Now with your tomatoes do get decent quality brand names. Or the really thick, I think they call them um, chunky chopped Italian tomatoes. Because it's a real thick juice in there. 
If you buy the cheap ones, the juice is too thin, it will soak into the base on the pizza and then it makes it all stodgy. So get the decent quality tomatoes uh, with a thick sauce. What you need in there is what I put in the base is three good tablespoons of this. Let me just try and focus this in. There we go. Um, it's actually reduced fat this one, but you can get the normal one. Uh, red pesto, three good tablespoons mixed in with a can of chopped tomatoes and that really does give the base of your pizza a real nice flavour. Such a nice taste because the pesto has got garlic herbs in there and therefore it's adding flavour to the pizza. Don't use the green pesto, always get the red. As I say this is reduced fat, you can get the normal and I believe you can also get gluten free. So if you can get your hands on gluten free naan breads, you can make your own gluten free pizza. And that's it on those ingredients, obviously on top. Now, if you watched our cheese taste test, you'll know we had a shed load of cheese left over. It's been put to one side, so we can use it in this. Now, this is different types of cheese, hence the colours are different. They're all chilli cheeses. Use your own cheddar if you don't want to get the chilli flavoured ones. Um, grate them up. I'm going to pop it in the fridge for half an hour or so just to make sure it's nice and cool so that I can sprinkle it a bit easier because these cheeses are quite soft. If you get the hard cheddar, it's it's a lot easier. But with that chilli in there, I think that's going to give this a real nice flavour. Um, the only one that's not in there, if you have saw the chilli cheese taste test, that's a mouthful. Chip shop curry cheddar. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's in the bin. So we're just not eating it. It was disgusting. Um, and that's it. That's all you need for these toppings. Now, as I say, you can add your own toppings. If you don't want to do it this way, because this is actually making it vegetarian friendly, um, you can put ham on there, chicken on there, your own pepperoni on there, whatever you want. Um, it always turns out nice because we have done that before. We've put meat on there, but I thought we'd do a, a vegetarian one today. Now, apart from these, there is one more ingredient and what is it? Come on, what's the other ingredient? Any ideas? Yes, chilies. Chilies go on everything. So, chilies are going on there as well. We're going to make two and it will be so quick, you'll be impressed. As I say, get your kids involved. Obviously, if the kids are being involved in this, do the chopping for them. Don't let them near the knives and cut everything up for them. Put it all on a tray or on a plate. Let them make the pizzas, they'll love it. Get them involved in cooking and it gives them something to do, especially if it's like today where it's throwing it down and they can't go outside. Now, cost wise, as I say from your takeaway, you're probably looking at for a standard cheese tomato pizza about 10 quid. Now, even if you're getting one free, that's 10 pounds for two pizzas. Add your other toppings on, you're getting up to 15 pounds. So if it's 15 pounds for two pizzas, this works out for everything, probably four pounds for the two pizzas. Now the way I get to that, costly naan breads and then the other ingredients when you think that you buy a punnet of mushrooms, there's four in here, so you've still got a, near enough a full punnet of mushrooms, you can use them in something else. So tomatoes, there's two in here out of a pack of six one pepper out of a pack of three the chilies you get quite a few in a pack there one onion out of a full bag of onions factor in your cheese which if you're buying a block of cheese you're looking at a couple of quid for just one i've got a mixture here because we use them on the taste test so a couple of quid for your cheese um take into account two tomatoes one pepper etc the pesto was, I think, £1.50. There is still over half a jar left of that after I've took the three tablespoons out that went in here. So all in all, not counting the stuff you've got left over because you're going to be using that for another meal for another day. You're looking at, I would say at worst or at most, £5 for two pizzas. That's with different toppings on, which is half the price of your cheapest takeaway pizza even if you're buying one getting one free because it'll cost you ten pound so that's two pizzas for a fiver from your takeaway 
two pizzas for a fiver from here but here you've got all these ingredients on top so if you get what I'm saying with the extra ingredients on top your pizza from your takeaway is not the £10 one that's cheese and tomato so you're looking at £15.750 each you're saving £2.50 but you've also got a load of ingredients left over that you've not used to make other meals so it works out a lot cheaper now if any of that what I've just said if I can speak has made sense then you're doing better than me because it's, it's hard to get your head around it unless you actually look into it but your costs it does work out a lot cheaper so that's all that lot that's all your ingredients now we're going to make the pizzas and we'll show you what uh, I can't talk again get your words out Al. Blah, blah, blah. right uh, we'll show you how to make your pizzas coming up straight away so we're just doing one pizza here we're actually making two but I'll show you how we do the first one because the second one will be exactly the same so on goes the base as I say, if you mix that red pesto in, it does give it a nice flavour. Just enough to coat the base. You don't want to put too, lo too lots, too much on. Because if it does come off the edges, it will take the cheese and everything else with it. If you can hear him breathing and lip smacking, the dog can smell it and he's right below me sniffing out what he thinks is his dinner. So that is just about enough to your edges. And as you can see, you've got all that left to do your next one. If you've got any left over, put the lid on, stick it in the fridge, use it to make pasta, the pasta sauce. Next, the cheese. So I like to put the cheese on after the base, after the tomato. You can put loads on if you want, but we don't want it too sickly. There's a bit gone on the floor and that's why the dog's hanging around there. is easier if you're using uh, hard cheddars because it doesn't clump together like this soft cheese does but so that's the cheese next peppers you can be all arty if you want I just like to get it on there and that's it tomatoes next Mushrooms. Onion. And as I have said, Kids love doing this. A couple of uh, the customers only buy our naan breads to make pizzas on because the kids love making them. And the final, of course, is the chilies. Now, uh, you only want a couple, don't you? Hmm. I'll have it off that pole. And then a bit more cheese, just so as it melts over the top and stops it all falling everywhere. Oh, did you want any chip shop curry cheese on it? No, thank you. You can have that. And that is one of the pizzas done. How quick was that? So, 
We're going to make another one exactly the same, which we're not going to record because you're watching the same thing twice. Stick them in the oven. Because these two, don't forget to alter the trays around because the top one will cook quicker than the one that's in the middle. And then we'll be back, show you the finished product and how long they took to cook. So, they were in for about 12 minutes for that. Straight on the chopping board, that's the wrong one, that's yours. On the chopping board. Not a hard lot. Just get a close up of that. that for a pizza nice and soft just like your takeaways red hot at the minute obviously when it's cooled down it's not going to be so uh, moving about so much pizza cutter would help that's it how easy was that and does that look nice now when it's cooled down you can cut it a bit easier, they're still quite, uh, what's the word, not floppy but... They like Italian pizzas. Yeah, like, a bit like the stone bait pizzas. I'm now going to burn my mouth and my tongue because I'm going to try a bit, I've not cut that enough. Oops. Mm -hmm. Nice. And with that tomato red pesto base, mm, tastes a lot better. It actually does taste better to me than your takeaways. So, homemade pizzas, non pizzas, done. Spice and easy way. I'm not going to go to my thoughts because you've just heard my thoughts when I talk about it out of it. So. That's those, try them, I think you'll like them, easy to do, and that's today's quick and easy recipe. Nearly stuttered. And that's it, we'll catch you again later.